Hello once again and welcome back to the Channel Hell Dominance. Anthony here. Please remember to like and subscribe and also click that notification bell if you enjoy what you've seen and if you want to continue seeing more. Coming up in this episode, we start a stock take of the Rugby League World Cup and its attendances first up as we scan pair this year's tournament to the last one that was in England in 2013. So now the tournament is over, we do our little debrief. I'm sure the Rugby League are going to do their own with the World Cup Committee, Super League, Stadia, everything like that. But we're going to do a little fan-like um, debrief. What the fans see at a first glance when it comes to the Rugby League. And, well, one of the sources that I'm going to cite at this moment in time is Love Rugby League, as they have use 2023 as Rugby League World Cup and 2021s as they've both been in England while comparing the attendances for the entire tournament. The 2021 Rugby League World Cup Final doubleheader at Old Trafford saw a crowd of 67,502 taking the aggregate of the men's tournament for past 400,000. The aggregate of just over 400,000 falls just below the record of 453,483 established from the last tournament in England. The 2021 between England and Samoa drew in a crowd of 43,199 at St. James's Park with a further 13,366 at Headingley for Australia versus Fiji, breaking an opening day record, which set a good tone for the Rugby League World Cup. The double header back in 2013 at the then Millennium Stadium saw the Australians face uh, uh, defeat England for in a for crowd of 45,052 before Italy claimed victory over Wales 32 points to 18. Back in 2013, during the final between Australia and New Zealand at Old Trafford, this also saw a crowd of 74,468. Although 2021 Chief, uh, Chief Executive John Dutton remained upbeat, insisting this year's brought in three times the revenue. The men's total for the average amount of get average, well, the aggregate of people going through the gates was 423,789, beating the 382,080 total that was from the 2017 World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. But here are some comparisons for the 2013 and the 2021 tournaments during the men's draw. So in 2013's tournament, New Zealand's first game with Sonny Bill Williams et al in their squad was against Samoa at the Hallowell Jones Stadium with an attendance of just under 15,000 for that opening clash. It's a recorded atop, it's a well recorded over attendance that for the opening clash compared to what was in 2021 as we, well, the 2021 tournament, 2022. As the opening clash at the Hallowell Jones Stadium was 5,453, as New Zealand faced Lebanon at the same venue, possibly the most upsetting crowd of the tournament. The Hallowell Jones did go on to have five games at the venue, so that more than made up for the lack of spectators, shall we say that? France played Greece in their debut year at the tournament, being Greece, and played in a crowd of just on the, uh, well, just, I've got that wrong, one second, that's better, a 4,182 at Doncaster during the opening, their opening game of the tournament, but compare that with their opening game at Craven Park in 2013, the attendance was 7,481, which is a downside bigger than what the records have had before. 
France, though, were allowed to play two games back on home soil as well, back in 2013. For their game in Avignon against New Zealand, they drew 17,518 spectators, while when they played Samoa in the same group, 11,576 saw them play in Perpignan. 2013 also saw games in Cumbria too, something that was scrapped for this tournament. 7,630 attended the Workington's Derwent Park to see Scotland beat some uh, Tonga 16, uh, sorry, 26 points to 24. And the same venue saw 7,280 what as Scotland drew with Italy, 30 points all. This year, the Bravehearts played between their two games at Kingston Park, Newcastle, which saw attendances of 6,206 uh, 6, versus Italy, and then 6,736 against Fiji. The lowest attendance of the 2013 World Cup was between Wales and the Cook Islands, and that only had an attendance of 3,270 for the Welsh side. While in the 2022 World Cup, the attendance of 3,675 was seen at Kingston Park, as Fiji defeated Italy 60 points to 4. Plus, the 2013 Rugby League World Cup saw the game take it to Limerick as 5,021 witnessed Australia versus Ireland. And then there was the England attendances. England's other two games in the group were at the John Smith Stadium in 2013, where an attendance of 24,375 saw them play Ireland while 25,114 saw Hull against Fiji. Saw them in Hull against Fiji. While well, this year saw a record attendance of 23,648 between England and France in Bolton, which is the biggest ever crowd between the two nations, England and France, the delayed 2021 tournament had Sheffield host its first ever rugby league fixture between England and Greece, with a crowd 18,760. There were, however, positives in the quarterfinals for the men's tournament, as in 2013 uh, there was an accumulated crowd of 57,011, which is an average of 14,253 between the four games. This year recorded 51,136, with the largest coming at the DW Stadium in front of 23,179, as England defeated Papua New Guinea. It was also the biggest attendance ever recorded for a single quarter final fixture, which had the Princess of Wales also in attendance. The semi-finals double header at Wembley Stadium in 2013 for the where Sean Johnson brought the hearts of England fans with this 20 points to 18 scoreline, which was before Australia demolished Fiji 64 0. There were 67,545 in attendance in London on that day, where the 2021 tournament topped that with 68,602 across the two semi finals. Another record. Leeds United's Ellen Road recorded 28,113 as Australia defeated New Zealand 16 points to 14 in a game that was so epic it will go down in folklore history. It was also the first ever rugby league fixture at the Emirates Stadium. 40,489 viewed on as Stephen Crichton kicked the Golden Point winner as England were knocked out and Samoa reached their first ever final in the Rugby World Cup, while the attendance is in the final because of, I don't know, no, numerous factors in the world unfortunately, and also England losing after big high, big results and good results and good efforts, 
The 2013 attendance topped the England uh, the 2021 version. As we know, 64,468 were at Old Trafford to see Australia beat New Zealand 34 points to two, and a strong 67,502 saw the Kangaroos claim their 12th title with a 30 points to 10 win over Samoa. Think of that as you will. It has been good context, and I want to look. Want you all to go over to the Love Rugby League and dot com web article to see all these details in full. It's a breakdown of everything that attendance-wise. We're going to have a look into further ones later in the week, I reckon with more information coming through to us, uh, like attendances to view figures and things like that. Well, we've done attendance. Uh, viewing figures and all different sorts of bits and pieces that we can point to, to say it was a success. We know the big success is going to be the Wheelchair Rugby League. It's the first ever time that it's, got, that it's played in, uh, in line with the other two, the men's and the women's. So, it's going to be fun to see what comes of that in the future. Now, we've had a look at the men's attendances. We'll find out more information as it comes, and I'll try to bring that to you. Hopefully there's a bit more information for you all there today to compare. Again, loverofbelieve.com were the ones that brought all the details and wrote the article. Thank you very much for that. And hopefully, we'll see positives from this episode. Uh, from the World Cup pushed down the road for years to come. Or internationals, hopefully. And that's it for another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video worldwide, as well as clicking on that notification bell for any new videos that may be coming your way. Tell me what your thoughts are on today's episode. I know it's only got one subject in it, but it's an important one. We'll look back at the Rugby League World Cup and we'll do that in bits and pieces. So I'm not giving you all the information every single time. The attendances do show a marked difference between 2013 and this year. Can you tell me in the comments what your thoughts are on why it wasn't so much? I know the first automatic point, point that everyone will go to will be the cost of tickets. I think it's much more than that. Come up with more ideas. I know I can interact with you. And um, as you guys are brilliant when you talk to me, and thank you very much for getting involved. But like I said, be respectful in the comments. The comment section are now open, so please tell me all the information that you thought. I've got a couple of ideas, and we'll talk about it in the comment section. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to share, share, share this video worldwide. I'll end the episode as I always do by wishing you all the very best, so please stay safe, and I'll see you in the next episode.